I want to first hold up this sign saying we demand Dr. Afia Siddiqui be repatriated to Pakistan. Free them all. Free them all. The U.S. has the largest prison population in the world, holds the largest number of prisoners in solitary confinement, torturous isolation. In prisons, people around the world, in secret detention, secret rendition, mass kidnapping programs, Guantanamo prison, Bagram in Afghanistan. We have defended and supported so many prisoners, even when their cases seem hopeless. Their freedom has been won. Execution stopped because there were mobilized people's movements. And this is true when we began the meeting tonight on Mumia to win, pulled Mumia off death row and we got a free Mumia. We remember the struggle to free Lynn Stewart. Now one woman prisoner we hold dear and want to especially focus on at the end of Women's History Month is Dr. Afia Siddiqui, a brilliant young Pakistani natch national educated in the U.S., kidnapped March 31st, 2003, 14 years ago tomorrow. Kidnapped in Pakistan by the CIA, held in Afghanistan, tortured, raped, abused, held in solitary in the U.S. for years, since 2008, held in solitary. We attended Dr. Afia Siddiqui's trial here in New York, mobilized support, developed petitions, yet Afia Siddiqui was convicted on no evidence, was all considered secret, sentenced in 2010 to 86 years in prison. I traveled to Pakistan in 2013 in a campaign to help raise her case and we've continued our support in many ways. The movement around the world for Afia Siddiqui's release and her repatriation to Pakistan to get her out of U.S. dungeons, it's a powerful movement in Pakistan. It really draws millions and millions of people into the streets. And it's mobilizing right now. Afia Siddiqui is considered the daughter of the nation. And as people are gathering in thousands around the world, and in tens of thousands in Pakistan tomorrow, they won't stop that mobilization until Afia comes home. And so we want to again add our voices and our demand for the return of Afia Siddiqui to her family in Pakistan. There is hope that there's a new opportunity, a possible prisoner exchange between the U.S. and Pakistan. And that is why this campaign has opened up again in a big way in Pakistan and we've also been requested for messages from the US. Now there have been prisoner exchanges throughout history so we shouldn't say think it's not possible including US imperialism has exchanged prisoners and British imperialism has exchanged prisoners and the Israeli Zionist state has made prisoner exchanges. It doesn't take a treaty but when there's a powerful movement it's possible. So there are many calls in Pakistan for a prisoner exchange, possibly for a Pakistani doctor, Dr. Shaquille Afridi, who helped the CIA kill Osama bin Laden and is held in prison in Pakistan. At the end of today's meeting, we want to gather and send messages to Pakistan calling for the repatriation of Afia. We want to take a picture of her with some of the posters uh, and send that. Uh, they want to post it on the Facebook site uh, for Afia, calling for her immediate release and exchange, however it happens, calling for her freedom from U.S. dungeons. Tom and tomorrow, again, we're going to gather as we do every week on Friday, 14th Street, just across from Union Square, for Palestinian prisoners, also arrested, tried, imprisoned for years, as terrorists, as Afia has been, and at the Sami Dun demonstration, we'll also be raising and taking video uh, statements on Afia Siddiqui, and making the link too of the prisoners, the Palestinian prisoners, the Pakistani prisoners, the raids and the roundups of so many Muslims here in the U.S., uh, both the prisons, the deportations, such an important campaign.